Tamaki Makaro, greetings to you all. Thank you so much for tuning back in. Welcome to the second part of the Pacific Health Telenor with Lorenzo and Susanna on Blue TV today, the 22nd of September 2021. We are just going to have a little bit of corridor and Telenor about the interview with the Minister of Pacific mm -hmm. People, of Yonga Yao, Peter Tofaisu, or William Sio. Sana, what do you think about the, uh, you know, about the interview, you know, your expectation and in terms of, you know, the questions that you put forward to the minister, do you think that, um, you know, you got what you wanted to hear or because obviously the questions that we asked are pretty much the same questions that our people are asking, but you and I and all the broadcasters are advocates of our Pacific and our community. What do you think? I mean, first of all, uh, I'm, I appreciate the time that the minister took out of his busy day, you know, to sit mm. with us and chat about the vaccinations and all the um, the COVID related issues that you know that have affected our people um, greatly, particularly in this pandemic. I mean, this outbreak. Sorry, um, I felt no, no. He he answered um, my question quite well. Yeah. I, I I really wanted to ask him about um, you know the families that have come out of MIQ. And are just yep. transitioning back into their normal lives. Like I wanted mm. to know, like how are they um, measuring? Like what measurements have they put in place to ensure that the um, wraparound services that the families are receiving right now? Like how are they ensuring that that is successful? You know, I will, like can we be sure that they're in um in a good house? Um, that they're getting mm. the health support services, you know, just things like that. But um, how did you feel about it? So now, um, I, I can answer your question as I want to be minister. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anyway, anyway uh, about, the, um, about the support package that you mentioned for our families that have come out, mm -hmm. come out of MIQ and even some of the, you know, our families that are still in MIQ coming back out to the community, um, I'm aware that you know, before they come out, they do uh, needs assessments, you know, to make sure that the ministry and that the DHPs and the hospitals are aware of, of, of their needs, you know, mm -hmm. coming out to the community to make sure that they get that holistic support, you know, the yeah. full support, especially mental health, because what they have been through in MIQ mm -hmm. is so not easy, you know. I mean, I, I haven't been there in that situation and of being infected by the virus, but I can just tell and I can see him and I see it, um, you know, yeah. how our people are suffering from this virus. So I'm aware that there is a system that's been put in place and I'm mm. aware that the, the social services that provides um, social support are well connected, you know, with the ministry. You know, for example, MSD, they, um, you know, they're, they're, they're out there, you know, running food banks, you know, they're out there doing a lot of work um, and also, um, I see a lot of community and grassroots people coming together, you know, Māori wardens. I, I really commend and, and, and applaud a Māori wardens, to be honest, you know, the work that they do, you know, without even being asked, they go and ask other providers, how can we help? We're here, yeah. you know, use us. We want to we wanna support your, 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 your kaupapa. You want to support mm -hmm. the work that you do. So if, if, if I was to answer your question, um, 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 Sana, yeah, there, there is a system that's been put in place, and all the government agencies, especially MSD, that um, is under Carmel Tipuloni. So, yeah, working so well, and I'm pretty sure, um, I'm pretty sure that they they were supported. Yeah, mm. yeah. That's uh, for, for me, what I think about the interview, um, Sana, is yeah. that's really good to, to do like a bilingual interview. To be honest, you know, mm. that, that's the highlight for me because. Our target audience and our viewers and listeners, um, you know, most of them are, uh, um, you know, um, um, English speaking um, listeners, you know, and, and, and some of them are um, not Samoan, you know, non Samoan. So it is great to have um, you asking uh, questions in English. Uh, and of course, you know, um, um, the communication from our minister as well. So that's, yeah. that's my, uh, my highlights of the interview today. Mm. Yeah, I think it's so nice that um, in our current government, we've, or there's like a lot of MPs that come from different ethnic backgrounds. Mm. Um, so it, it just goes to show that we've come a long way in terms of representation, you know, in, in government. But, mm. Um, mm. Yeah, I, I felt that um, Alpito has done 
a tremendous job and that he he really answered um like my queries personally in this interview um so yeah we are just gonna um keep encouraging our people to get out there and mm. you know get fully vaccinated you know i myself haven't had my second jab yet so mm-hmm. i definitely going to um prioritize and make time to get my second jab <laughs> Wow, that, that's great to hear. So make sure yeah. you, you'll be the first one at the, uh, the Mangere Drive-Thru Vaccination Centre on Monday. It, is, it opens at 9 o'clock, 9 to 6. Wow, 9 to 6, my beautiful Samoa and my beautiful beautiful Pacific community. Get down there, take your family, your ainga, and get vaccinated, you know? For me, if I say, let's protect our family, let's protect our community, but not, not no actions. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Mm, yeah, yeah. Okay. You, so just for yeah? just for the like the non-believers of the um the vaccine out there, did you try sticking mm-hmm. a spoon to your arm after you got vaccinated? Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm. How did you feel? Um, what what was your experience? Um, um, Sano? Oh, I was absolutely fine. Um, I mm. mean, the only side effect that I had um from my first dose was a sore arm. But other so than I that, mean. yeah, um, I had no other side effects. Well, anyways, our updates for today, the 22nd of September, 2021. Kiora from my beautiful home here in Mangere. Oh my gosh, I'm looking outside and I'm like, oh, should I go train? No, anyways, 23 new cases today in the community in Tamaki Makoto. One new case is in managed isolation. The total number of active cases in Delta arrived in New Zealand, one 1,108. 13 people in hospital, two in ICU. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Only two in ICU. I would love to see that number as in the zero tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Nobody. No one. So how do you do your part? How do I play my part? As by getting vaccinated to protect yourself and to protect our community. I'll be to mention that some people who have been infected and have had the virus, some of them are anti vaxxers So I'm not going to say anything about anti vaccination people, but I'm just saying that, you know what? COVID-19 is real. It is out there. It has killed a lot of people. It has killed a lot of our families, you know? So my encouragement for, you know, for our people today is to get out there and get tested. And the opportunity is there. There's three major events in Mangere as well as other centers that are open to our community. It is cost free, free of charge. Oh my gosh, you know what? If my kids were eligible, but you know, they're only babies, um, I would have taken them to um, to get vaccinated. Anyway, Sana, Sana, what do you, what, what do our people expect um, from our show tomorrow? You know what? Give, give us a topic that you want to discuss or you want to have a Telenor about tomorrow. You know what, Lorenzo, I, I really want to, um... I'm going to speak to more young Pacific healthcare Ooh. workers. You know, um, we've got to put a face um, and the names um, to like our healthcare workers out there, especially who are of Pacific. Like, mm. I just want to like know, um, you know, how they feel about the pandemic, um, how they deal with misinformation, um, the anti-vaxxers, and all of that, and and, and how um, the pandemic has taken a toll on their own health their own mental well-being as well so you know, mm, that's something mm, that I, I really want to um cover mm. money so i just want to um elaborate what i said to the minister mm-hmm. the because i asked about our people rushing to mcdonald's and kfc in level three i want to for you you have to stay warm you know your body has to be like at a very low temperature in a year but being that a warm uh, a temperature in a year I want to move on from my own COVID-19. But I have a feeling that I'm a muffalo tino, ma or a putano tino, yeah, now with no sami, no training. If I feel like I feel COVID is forever. So that's why I ask, or not to tell you that, oh my gosh, you know, um, I, I, I see a lot of people, you know, rushing to KFC and McDonald's, but that's your choice. Asana, that's your choice. I love a feeling feeling. But the decision that we make now will have a huge impact on our health and well-being in the future, especially your father and our children. Asana, what do you reckon? What do you oh, think? yeah, absolutely. But, I, you know, I do think 
that you know we've just been in lockdown for a long time and we've mm. we've been missing you know the, the luxuries you know gyms are not open shops are not open and and on top of that takeaways are not open so i don't really um like blame them for rushing yeah. over to like kfc and meccas as soon as we mm. went into level three but no um you're right you know um no, let's make like the safest and wisest de decisions today so that we can um you know benefit and um have have a good like i guess we, we want to live long I, that's mm, what i'm saying mm. so the nice, nice. Today, you know, yeah. will be will benefit you tomorrow uh in case a lockdown happens again level four my encouragement for our people is buy a deep fryer <laughs> keep it at home have a plan if, it, if level four comes again have have a um, a plan for Ngale in terms of getting your family out out of your house you know in your backyard mm. um and getting them out to you know to do some some exercise so make sure we you know we, we do we we put a plan in place but don't forget to buy a deep fryer because, man, I've been doing a lot, a lot of, um, you know, uh, cooking, you know, at home using my deep fryer. Ah, you know, my, uh, my <laughs> not, a, not a real deep fryer. <laughs> kind of bored, you know, those ones. Uh. Anyways, get yourself a deep fryer because level four hits again, and plenty of oil. Anyways, Pacific Health, Illinois, and yes, so don't forget, it's only what? Five to four, you know, get a day, you know, for a short walk, you know, just for a five or ten minutes walk, you know, take your dog, take your father, your children out for a walk, take your wife out for a walk, you know, yeah. don't forget, and don't forget, yeah, drink wow. plenty of water, you know, don't forget your bottle of water, okay? Anyways, I'll, we'll see you tomorrow. Thank you so much for tuning in. Mm -hmm. Bye, everyone.